make Alrighty, that guys. content. Welcome back. We're watching the labs. Um, we're speeding through these follow robot counts because they actually use every single pack and they're faster 30 second time. And uh, it's really fascinating watching these uh, these packs just being burned through. We're, uh, we ran out of things to do. We ran out of things Definitely. to do. We're, um, <laughs> you, you, you don't want to know what me and Mojo have been working on. Some crazy yeah. train coupling ridiculousness. Speaking of trains. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we were taking, wondering who, what pack's going to run out first. It's clearly, I think, going to be military. Yeah. Come on, war ducky. Go, 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 you ducky. Can do it. <laughs> 14 uh, follow robot count was 20. 20, yeah. Really? I thought it was can like we make 21 it to 20? or something. No, it was 20. Okay. Follow robot count 20 was the most expensive research. Well, we have 1.3k in the passes, not to mention what's in the requesters. Requesters and the labs. And the labs, and we get a bonus from the prods and the labs. Yeah. Well, it's all gone from the passes now, though. <laughs> yeah. Switch into a requester chest. Please, There's... Ducky. Oh, There's is this a military the... chain? No. Ducky, There's go. There's none in the requester chest. We are running on. Pure it's so inertia. close. If this doesn't finish. <laughs> Where's where? What's Ducky up to? Well, I made it two twenty. Not. I don't think we're gonna finish twenty. Uh, we'll see. Where's Duck? Ducky? Ducky go? <laughs> where the hell's the train? There's about there's about ten in it each um, lab. Well, this thing stopped. Why is it off? Oh, it's full. Well, there's one point two k at Ducky. Train's on its way back. How close is it? I don't even know where it is. I think it might make it to 21. He's, he's just coming in across the top rail. Go, 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 floor it! <laughs> I think we'll make 20, though, off this. Woohoo! So that used to be what we were limited at in 14, version 14. Yeah. In theory, there's, there's a limit to how many destroyer capsules you can have you know, follow a count that you could use because by the time you deploy so many goes. of them, um, the first one, the first destroyer bot that you placed will have died out already. Mm -hmm. So there is a theoretical limit to how many follow account you can actually use. Yeah. Yeah, we ran out of military. Why is military yeah. train not going in? Because he's at Ducky's head blowing up. No, he's in the station. Or is that space? I can't tell the difference. That's space, That's space science. They look really similar. Yeah, he's loading up at Ducky okay. now. Well, hey, that was a fun little spurt of actually seeing the research bar move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Back, back to work. <laughs> back to work. So you're... You guys, what, what are you guys doing? Okay, so just I point out, we're ridiculous. Yeah, this is a yep, dumb. This is this is a dream. This is a visualization of a dream that I had. <laughs> yes, I dream about it. Oh man! So well, <laughs> this train here is two three eight threes bolted together in what uh, here in the UK we'd call like a multiple unit train. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have them so much in the states, but here in the UK, it's really, really commonplace. The idea being that this is a self-contained train on its own, and then what they do is they would bolt uh, multiples of them together mm -hmm. to make the train bigger, and you can choose on the day how big of a train you want, and you only need one driver, or in fact, all your terms, one, you know, the same amount of CPU for train pathfinding. So the outpost would load... Um, half at a time so it loads the front half the train moves forward to a second so you have an iron outpost one and one a mm -hmm. so it would load front half then back half and then go back and then when it gets to the smelter because you've got all these locomotives in the middle there's actually two smelters if you look at these rover ports they don't actually connect right because uh, they're not bad there's, but there's a one tile gap so it's actually two smelter blocks Mm -hmm. instead of one and then you'd have obviously multiples of this stacked on top of each other 
but it loads twice as much. The one, actually, this, this is um, tempting. <laughs> um, but the, the, the one issue I see, though, is mm -hmm. you would have, how would you, like, compensate? Because since you're loading one half of the train and it's moving forward and having to load the second half, and it supports yep. two smelters, how would your outpost would, like, like, how would you load it fast enough to actually keep up with the smelter demand? Because you're taking, like, twice as long to load a train. Yeah, but you just have half the number of trains going to it as you do now. No, but... Whereas if, if, if you'd have four trains going to the outpost now, with this design, you'd only have two. But my point is that you're still bringing the same amount of ore in and requiring the same amount as ore as four trains, except that you're only mm -hmm. loading at the outpost at a speed of two trains. Because if you, if you pull in and you load one half, and then he pulls forward and loads the back half, that's the time it would take to load two trains, or, yeah, like, at different times. Like, it's hard to explain, but... Because, like, now, right, we have, like, multi we have, like, two... We, we can have yeah. two trains or four trains loading simultaneously, whereas with this, you can only load one half at a time. So... Yeah, you'd probably need more outposts. Yeah. But, but I think the overall thing is less trains on the map. Right. Is the theory that this works too. Uh oh, there's a jam. What? Uh, Where? South of Copper Smelter. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. What's causing it? Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Nothing. It's input, just input, input to copper smelter. Because it's a single track, it needs to be double realistically. Oh, oh, geez, yeah, it's just only a single. No wonder. And that line isn't a proper main line. It's got the uh, one third spacing. Yeah, it also needs double input into that copper stacker. It had one late one from each direction. Yep. Too much pressure from that research. Yeah, kinda. Ooh, green train. Oh yeah, see how it, there's this big traffic jam? So, have I told you about the other rail blueprint I'm working on? No, I don't think so. It's a, a 4 plus 2. Where the packs, um, outposts, trains, uh, trash from refuel all live on the, the two, and the everything else goes on the four. So at least in theory, um, with them all separated, you can get around any jams and still get through without having to get out and walk. Oh, that sounds pretty nice. Well, as long as you're not, not a train pulled halfway through an intersection. That's the, the hope. Then again, it's not... In, hope in about an hour, I'd say. An hour. <laughs> it's not that hard to punch a hole in a train and drive through it. I've done that before. Just Pac-Man it. I'm sure we've all done that. Some of us multiple times. Well. <laughs> Some of us, an entire outpost worth of trains. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, we have insurance. And even in some exceptional, exceptionally rare cases, entire outpost trains. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, it's not that rare. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> Didn't happen last week. <laughs> That's fine, we got insurance. Not very good insurance. We just dock the, the worker forces pay to cover the costs. Totally. Hmm. I was trying to explain to Demon about all the bot murderization. Hmm? 
There is babies, you know. Ah, uh, who cares? <laughs> what the hell is that noise? A car alarm. Shut up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're nice. <laughs> I see my name is still nicely spread across the tracks. Yep, no one's cleaned you up. Come on, guys. Oh, your little choo choo's gone, though. Oh, no, he's still, no, he's still there. there. Wrong continent. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the wrong continent. We haven't got your um, Zeke when he should have Zeke memorial yet, but we need to get that. Oh, yeah, the tombstone. Yeah, we do need to get that. So much stuff that has to be brought from map to map. I need like a blueprint <laughs> pack of memorials. <laughs> but do we have Ducky or War Ducky? Both? <laughs> <laughs> we can have like. A post-war ducky, and then war ducky. <laughs> PTSD ducky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, nobody's actually making. He's doing 500 a minute. Well, that ain't bad. I mean, that adds up. Let's see what he's been over 10 minutes. Oh, right, over 10 minutes, he's doing 330 a minute. But still, I mean, if we, like, wait, like, 20 minutes, we can do a couple military. That's the idea of Ducky. Yeah. Like, it, it just ticks through, and then you look at the thing and the labs, and, oh, there's 20,000 pops. All right, let's do some military. And gain a ton of points while doing it. Yep. Because it's just using that 10% over, over build. Mm-hmm. And he's really not optimized as well. He's not even ratioed right. He only has one train of each material delivering. Mm hmm. It's, I just threw it together in like half an hour. PTS Ducky. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> in the last hour, we've produced 12 million iron plate. Wow. Consumption should have gone through the roof because of the military research. It, you know there's a steam achievement to produce 400,000 iron plate in an hour. <laughs> well, there goes that one. <laughs> we do that in two minutes. <laughs> we do that in two minutes. Yeah, well, look, on the hour graph, 210,000 iron plate a minute average yep. over the last hour. Yep, do that in two minutes, boom. <laughs> What other stupid stuff is there on the last hour? Everything. Uh, Seventeen hundred gun turrets in the last hour. Oh, uh, jeez. <laughs> We've done more than a quarter of a steam achievement in the last hour for green circuits. We've made a power armor. That was me. Uh, that was a death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You made oh. another one. Wow. So wait, I wait, suppose wait. that was more this, than an hour ago. This base, if we reset all achievements right now, we'd be done in four hours. Oh, uh, for green circuit? You mean with... Well, for all of them. Yeah. Because you, you could have the rest done while waiting four hours for the green circuits. That's pretty ridiculous that's scary that we could have that achievement done in four hours every four hours we get that steam achievement because mm -hmm. if you look at the all-time produced i think we're up to seven coming up on seven and a half steam achievements now Jeez, yeah because in the last hour we've averaged ninety thousand circuits a minute well actually if we did it now We do a lot higher because the we have seven steam achievements all time, but you have to consider that like the first like twenty hours of that we weren't doing even close to what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think because we're doing one hundred six thousand circuits a minute. Let's say a hundred thousand. That's six million an hour. Yeah, 
four hours, you're done More with some done. downtime. Yeah. Yeah. You have a and you have a bit of you've done the time to spare. Is there? Oh yeah. Check check the all time blue circuit. It's, we're a quarter of a way to a blue circuit achievement. Is there I don't there's not an actual achievement for that, is there? There is in my head. In my head. Because we've got 1.5 red circuit achievements, nearly. Oh yeah, jeez. So looking in the last hour, 163,000 pipe. Doyle should be so proud of us. Over 100,000 speed module ones. Ouch, that's expensive. In the last hour, we have used 10 million iron ore. That's perfect because we've used 12 million plate and you get 20% prod. Yeah. Yep. And that 12 million iron has been used. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Completely used. <laughs> yep. In the last hour, we've made 89,000 mining drills. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> In the last hour, you've also consumed 89,000 mining drills. Jeez. 115,000 engines. 6,000 of the good uranium used. Used in the last hour. <laughs> 90,000 belts. And inserters. We're averaging a speed module level three every minute. Well, one and one point four a minute. What are we using those for? Just, just you know, just stuff. because all the deaths, stuff and junk. <laughs> More fostering of oil outposts. I think is where they're going at the moment. Hmm, probably just a state because super oil five is going down in percentage. So if we just speed module up the other ones, which has been neglected for hours. Yeah, just prevent a crude oil shortage. Mm -hmm. Which or if we could come to a, a big stop if that crude runs out. I mean, I think fifteen helped a ton with the oil shortages you used to get. We don't really get them anymore. I don't. No, I've not had one. I don't think we had one on this map at all. Mm -mm. I don't think crude has ever been the issue. Never was on fifteen sim either. No. It would have if you kept playing it long enough. Yeah, I mean, if you just never built outposts and kept playing. Yeah, the mining productivity um, did was mostly responsible for it. Hmm. Yeah, having that affect oil is huge. Hmm. Did you know all the time we've made 26,000 speed module level 3s? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and 13,000 of the quad ones. And pretty much all that is like in builds. I don't think we have like a ton stockpiled. So no wonder we're using like 13 and a half gigawatts. It's fine. Thirty k uranium, uranium ammo used. <laughs> That's a lot of dead bugs. Well, let's see if you look look at the kill statistic, all time. Oh, nearly fifty thousand big biters. Biters. That's averaging ten a minute. I just saw four trains moving parallel up my line. My mainline track. This makes me happy. Yeah, that is so nice. We've killed 335 fish. Stupid fish. <laughs> the mainline is actually surprisingly quiet in most areas. 
Seems to all the trains are quite well distributed. There's one of these guys that I don't know why he's. Oh, never mind. And whenever there's a jam, it does it clears almost instantly. <laughs> you see, fish lift statistic. We've lost twice as many players as walls. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of depressing. <laughs> <laughs> losses. Why do I not see players on losses? Are they on kills? One hundred and thirty-one players were killed. <laughs> oh my gosh! All-time losses says two hundred and fourteen players. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there we go. And. 119 walls. <laughs> Most of those were probably train deaths at this point. Oh yeah, it's term. Show the pollution. Oh god. Bubble. So this is how we find people now? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, it literally, I mean, it looks like someone just took, like, red paint and just dumped it on the map. It's like someone's got Microsoft Paint, made the paintbrush really big, and just swirled it around. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's just this, like, intense red. And it goes off the map on the right and left. You're right. Like, the bright red goes off, not just the faint outline at edge. The really bad stuff. I'm terrified to Look. turn on pollution numbers. This may crash my game. Where, where do I find that pollution... Uh, so pollution values. God help me. Oh, well, let's see. <laughs> what, what's the highest pollution you think? The smelters? Yeah. It's gotta be, I, I can't even read these numbers. 453,000 in one chunk. Nearly half a million pollution per chunk in the smelters. <laughs> Yeah. It would take like 12 hours of game time just to dissipate that. Yeah. <laughs> 143,000 in the lab area. Even I don't think even labs generate pollution, do they? No. It's just spread it's from everywhere. <laughs> do you see that uh, chat says, how, how can we even breathe? How can we even breathe? Well, I mean, we have some sort of suit, but I would think this, this amount of pollution, I would feel like, would just melt the suit. Probably. Yeah. I mean, I think the more important question is, how the hell do we see anything? Like, screw <laughs> being able to breathe. With this level of pollution, like, you think China's bad? Like, you would literally be, it would be like standing just, like, in a, a, a smoke box. Or, or something. Like, you, you couldn't see anything. Do you see that um, that thing I retweeted um, earlier today? Oh, I don't think I did. It was a, it was a, vid a short video from a steam engine was going past a um, coal mine in China, and the the steam engine was igniting the air as it went through from all the um, the dust in the air. Gotta be kidding me. Okay, I have to find this. Stream. Steam train passing. By coal in China. Holy hell. That's just like igniting the coal particles? Yeah. <sighs> in the air from the coal mine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I want that in fact, oh yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> I mean, that looks pretty badass. I'd love that in Factoria. Well, at that point, I, I, fe I feel like our whole factory would just burn down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can you imagine with this level of pollution, if that, like, you know, obviously, hypothetically were a thing, like, it would literally probably, it would actually probably be more like a nuclear bomb going off the second a steam engine started moving. I would imagine it would just yeah. completely ignite everything.
I mean, in the long run, it's probably a good shout that we put up the defensive walls. Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, there's a point, actually. I don't think YouTube has seen this. Um, we had a problem with our hacks uh, accumulator. Oh, really? The other day. Yeah. Uh, it just it just had enough and was like, nah, no more power for you. Mm -hmm. So the whole base went dead, which was very, very bad. Uh, yeah. Um, so we, we had to uh, discount Huffney, uh, Shane, to quickly fix it. But we were down and we lost half a wall. Oh, jeez. So w what we've done is the walls are now solar powered. They're on their own completely separate little networks. Oh, that's really smart. And we've got like Zuri Mark 3s um, on them. Mm -hmm. Just so that if we do have any problems with mains power, we don't die. That's a really, really but good idea. There's, there's still a couple to be done, I think, bottom right. Yeah, it looks like it, but that's a smart move. The fighters just insto drop from the uh, from those lasers now. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Almost. Speaking of which, we might be able to do some more. Let's... We've got five thousand military pots again. We'll probably do some other research. We're gonna go. Woohoo! Progress. <laughs> Points will go up fast now. Gonna hit forty-seven and a half percent hype. We may get there before Thanksgiving or Christmas. You you guys need to you need to chill with your uh, having this open and however many tabs at the same time watching it. <laughs> like it's a little bit scary. I think I added like a lot. <laughs> I don't remember what yeah. we were before I added my points. If they're putting the whole playlist on every day it gets worse because the playlist gets longer. Mm hmm I think I added I'll to check the video, but didn't it increase by like five hundred thousand? Something like that, I think. Come on. And I, I just added points like earlier this week. Yeah. Just gonna do some quick calculations or so. I'm gonna assume for the sake of maths that we're at three million points. Mm-hmm. That's can someone get research? That's yep. three million minutes watched, which is fifty thousand hours. That's two thousand days. <laughs> That's five point seven years, if my napkin math is correct. You guys have a problem. It would take one person to do this to watch that much content. 24-7, no sleep, or eating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> that is, like, seriously, though, I think people, some people are just starting the playlist before they go to bed and leaving it on. Which, <laughs> I mean, if it still gives me, like, ad revenue and views, I guess that's okay, but it's starting to get a little bit out of hand. <laughs> We're catching. I mean, maybe. We, we have to make it back to 52% this stream or we're in real trouble. It's okay. It's only 1am. Only 1am. It's about dinner time for me. Not as young. Extermate? No, it's not. No, what's not? It's not getting out of hand? I think we're fine. I, I'd be worried if we were still under 10%. With the base fully on like this. I'd be worried if we were under 40%. <laughs> We've been going <laughs> for like 70 something hours. Almost 80 at this point. So as long as we're done by the 15th of the month, I'm fine. Oh great, you've just given Twitch chat the idea. Well, if they didn't have that idea of themselves, then... Well, there's something wrong. Um... I watch the episode and then have a couple more at 144 p.m. other tabs at two times speed. <laughs> the thing's so catchy, can't help it. Well, I mean, we figured this would happen. 
Uh, Ken's got an idea. If we can get to pot speed 100, we can try for four science, four thousand science packs. Oh, now. there you go. Problem solved. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> that, that seems to be uh, backwards. I think we would need more like 10k a minute and a couple of years. I just double every, duplicate every build we've got. We'll be fine. Be fine. <laughs> double the more fast to double it. Yes. Okay, I'm on it. Blueprint the map. Yep. Bam, fill the continent to our right. Go, go, go. <laughs> How much would that research cost? I think there I think there is actually a limit to the bot speed. Um simply due to the numbers that Factorio can support. I forget what it is, but there's a certain amount that it, Factorio just cannot support that amount of research required, like number wise. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, our seating upgraded that, so you'll probably never reach it. I would be interested. Anyone can or someone want to calculate what bot speed one hundred would cost? It's actually a really simple calculation, but I don't remember it. I got my new hidey hole. Bot speed gets too high, the bots don't even move. But that mean you don't even need to render them? Because that can save UPS. <laughs> they don't even move? Like, I mean, do they just, like, you? nothing works because they literally don't move? So you just have no movement, like, no materials moved around? Or they, the game just doesn't even render them? Yeah. So have you seen the fusion robots mod or the nuclear robot mod? They're both pretty interesting. Yeah, they seem a little bit... I mean, it's a little bit cheaty. It is. It, one of the, probably one of the most complained about things is bot charging. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can... They're, they're stuck. They would just break. Sounds like a bug report to me. <laughs> yeah. Our seating make Our it work if bots be 100. <laughs> Our bots have stopped working. <laughs> Uh, but he, Ken says when bot speed gets too high, can you define too high? Like, could we, like, if bot speed 50 or something, would they still work? I mean, really, it would, you, I could just hop in creative, turn on instant research, and just go until it breaks. Or we sit here for four years. I would sit here for four years. Maybe I should just, maybe just have, like, never mind, I'm going to shut up now, because otherwise I'll do it. <laughs> I was going to say, like, my server I don't really use anymore. And usually it just sits on. I could just, like, stick the map on it and just leave it running. And then I would probably forget. And come back and the entire map would be broken. Yeah, the bot photos have probably got in and eaten it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in creative mode, the, uh, the super logistics robots or whatever they're called they like appear for a frame above the robo port and then just disappear yeah you can't even oh, see yeah. them they just flash. Is like they're actually like doing something though like they're actually working can yeah. what can saying is at a point the bots just don't work like they literally just get stuck and do nothing yeah yeah the movement gets too high it stops happening same with the uh, mining drills and pump jacks remember when we put the um speed modules into them in the same <laughs> map <laughs> um, yeah. The animation became so fast it stopped rendering. But did they still actually work? Do something? Like, did they actually provide yeah, resources to still? To a point, the pump jacks um, it was producing too much for its internal buffer, so it stopped producing. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's a really big queue for copper plate right now. Oh dear. Wait. And we're out of iron ore trains. Big Q for copper plate. What What's do you that? mean? Like, the smelter. <laughs> I think we just had some downtime and they kind of accumulated in there. We're out of iron ore trains, but row. Log so I had three of my ones that I turned off. Oh, I deleted them. Again? Uh, oh, dear. We'll have to build some more trains if we need more iron trains. 